Hi and welcome. This time I want to show you how to make such a nice and useful plug sound with the Blofeld. So let's start immediately. I'm going to create a complete new sound from scratch. And let's have a look on oscillator 1. I'm going to choose wavetable 30 as the basis. with four foot um, octave and I'm modulating the wavetable slightly with envelope three. As always, I'm increasing the brilliance parameter for the wavetable in order to get a more digital and more um, slightly distorted sound. For oscillator 2, I'm choosing a richer wavetable, which is um, the alternative wavetable 1. This time with 16 foot. And we're going to lead um, the output of oscillator 2 through filter 2. At this point you can hear no difference because both filter settings are the same. And of course we are going to modulate oscillator 2 as well. For this I'm choosing as well envelope 3 which we are going to set later. And of course we can increase the brilliance here as well. Oscillator 3 is going to be used as a frequency modulation source. And I'm reducing the level to zero because it's just a modulation source. And I increase the octave to a half foot. That's the highest you can get, but you can also set the semitone to plus 12 so that you get one octave more. And now I'm going to set the shape to sine wave. And because it's a modulation source, I don't want this to be dependent on the pressed key. So I'm simply reducing the pitch band range to zero and the key track also to zero so that we get a constant pitch. Of course oscillator 3 can't be heard because the level is completely down and currently it's not modulating anything. But now let's move on to the filters and here we are going to reduce the cutoff to 70 and we are applying oscillator 3 as the frequency modulation source for filter 1. You can already hear this harshness and the digital artifacts. You can hear it even more clearly when you increase the resonance. And that's exactly what I want to get. We can move on to filter 2. As you remember, oscillator 2 is going through filter 2. Both are in parallel, not in serial mode. And Filter 2 is a high pass type and with a cutoff of 25. And again, we are going to apply the frequency modulation of oscillator 3. Mm -hmm. 
that's already a lot of harshness. Now to make the sound a bit more exciting, we can apply panorama modulation by LFO2. So let's go back to filter one and to the panning setting. LFO2 modulates the panorama with 45. And filter two panorama is also modulated by oscillator two with minus 45. This way they are swapping sides all the time. In the next step I'm um, changing the settings of all the envelopes. For instance the filter envelope can have a slightly high, higher decay time, like 75 or so, and some release like 65. And of course we have to adjust the amp envelope as well if we want to increase the release time. And suddenly you can hear something which we have to correct. But first things first, let's reduce the sustain so that we get a very soft sustain phase and increase the decay time here to 65. So now when we hold the keys, the sound is a bit quieter, a bit more calm than before. And of course we have to change the settings of envelope three as well. In this case, the decay up to 85, for instance, the sustain to zero and the release also something like 75, 80. Now I want to add some possibilities for us to change the sound while we are playing. So let's go to the modulation matrix. In the first entry, I'm adding vibrato with the help of the modulation wheel. So alpha one times modulation wheel is changing the pitch with an amount of 14. Actually everything between 11 and 15 is always quite nice as a vibrato. And in the next two modulation slots, I'm also applying the modulation wheel as a modulation source for um, amp envelope decay and release. And this is what we can do with the modulation wheel. One more funny effect can be achieved with the aftertouch when we apply this as a modulation source. Um, you have to look for pressure because it's called pressure. And we can apply this as a modulation source for pitch, let's say with the amount of 45. And now we can achieve very creative and very funny effects with the aftertouch.
And finally, we can apply some flanger on this patch. Let's go to effect slot one, adjust the flanger to a mix setting of 40 and decrease the speed a bit, increase the depth to let's say 80 or so and of course reduce the feedback to make it less aggressive. I hope you enjoyed this video, if so, leave a comment, click on the like button and you can subscribe if you want to see my next Blofeld videos. You can also consider joining my channel as a member, there you can get access to even more videos, access to the modulation simulator for the Blofeld which I wrote and some of the patches which I created for this machine. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.